Uh, but then again, yeah. I'm sure there's one other story you would like to tell us. Uh, checking out the video, uh, the uh, Cherry Chinim video. The video is a Chinim. St- Chinim. It, it's a it's yeah. a story as well. The video tells a story about this guy, you, um, at this you know I think a beach side or something, and you you're yeah. there just singing or leading certain people in you know to sing and then just group of guys at the other on a table checking you out like man this guy can yeah. sing and the story goes yeah. on to show how this guy gives you his card and tells you to call him and then you did call him uh fast forward you know to cut the long story short yeah this guy uh, happens to be like a helper and then takes your career to a whole new level <laughs> so now i need to yeah. know is that story Fact or fiction? <laughs> <laughs> Is it fact or fiction? <laughs> to be honest with you, um, the, the gospel is not just about me. Mm. A lot of people might be able to relate to that story. You know, a lot of right. people out there might be able to relate to that story. So, the idea of the story is not basically about me. Uh, it's just we can't say all of the stories that we've been hearing how god has changed people's lives so we have to pick one mm-hmm. that you know shows that god is still in the business of changing people's story god is still in the business of raising men god is still in the business of connecting men and helping men so it's not about me basically my story might be uh might not be that close to it mm. but i also have my experience how god changed my life but I'm, I'm out there saying to somebody that, you know, God is in the business of changing stories. This is what God did to I feel if you can tell, I was just an actor. Mm, I was just an actor. Right. I, get I acted it, the script, you know. I acted the script. And, you know, how I took this set of friends to the beach and we just said, okay, let's go and hang out for a retreat and just sing. And whilst we were singing, a particular group of investors came to the beach that day, which mm. God will always do, orchestrating parts. You know, came to the beach that day and sat down, and there was it was a coincidence that we were singing at the same while time. We were on the other side, you know, at the same time, and God and God did it in such a way that they 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 they, they singled, singled me out of the crowd, mm. which is what God will still do to people, which is what God is still doing to people, singularly bringing people from a crowd, from the crowd, and saying, "I'm picking you to raise my name. I'm picking you to sing about me, to tell the world how I." changed your life to spread mm. the gospel so you know they singled me out of me called me you know notice, if you notice people were already leaving and yeah, i was last the last yeah and so they called me gave me a card gave me a card and fast forward they called me we had conversations like time contract which wasn't shown in the video and then he gave me he called me i said i have to, i have a gift a gift for you and i took a kk which is a normal life somebody who is still aspiring to be great to get to the spot where he was the office and he was standing outside and then he said this is for you and fast forward everything they said came to pass the, the, the contract me singing bigger me traveling abroad me spreading the gospel you know all of that yeah. and for me it was just a story to to encourage somebody out there that god is still you know changing lives i don't want to make the gospel just about me but about millions of people who are still uh, who are still, you know, in doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so wow. Fantastic yeah. stuff. I mean, uh, before I let you go, um, in the same vein, yeah, let's talk about God helping people through people. Mm. All right. So most times when God wants yeah. to bless somebody, he, he, he would not come down from heaven physically. Um, he will use someone, you know, like in that video, it was that, you know, that investor uh, who God used mm-hmm. for, for you. So let's talk about um, helpers and being helped by helpers and God using us to help people. There is a thin line between um, seeing your helper as your God and there's a thin line between seeing, um, feeling like the God over somebody who where you're helping. What do you have to say about that in relation to this? I mean, it's a great, this is a great, very good question. Um, I'll, I'll tell you for free. God will never come down to help anybody. Mm. So as much as we pray, the Bible said that God, Jesus found favor before men and before God. There was a need to find favor before men because um, whilst you're divinely receiving, it is important that you, there's a need for physical disposition. That's okay. what I'm saying. Right. So in doing that, you will need the help of men. Mm-hmm. 
you will need the help of men. The, the different, the, the only thing holding you from where you are to your next level is another man. Because as well as you're praying and praying to God, God is also raising men. Mm. Everything we need on earth, everything we need from God is ready on earth. Yeah. Every single thing. So I tell people, do not look down on anybody. And also to answer the question you asked, um, it's also a thin line to begin to see the man that God has used to help you as your God. Mm. There's a thin line to that. But and also it's also a thin line to also begin to act as a God because you helped somebody. Yeah. But the only difference between these two people is the mindset. You know, is the mind behind it, the heart behind it. Why are you doing what you're doing? That's the first question. Are you doing it for glory's sake, to have self-glory, self-gratification, or you're doing it because you feel that God has raised you to raise others? Yeah. So that's why I will never, if God used me to help somebody else, I will never, I will always tell the person, there's a girl that I'm supporting and um, helping a ministry to grow, her name is Adachi. You know, I, I don't I don't have a contract with her, nothing. Mm. Anything that comes to me, I just give to you. She's recording her second song right now, she's been nominated for an award. I told her straight up, I said, see, God is only using me to help you. Do not worship me. Because you worshiping me means you're telling God that God should take it away from me because God will never share his glory with any man. Yeah. So the more you try to worship me, the more you try to block and put a stumbling block to my blessing, to, mm. to, to create an obstacle. And I don't want that. So I know that God is my source. I said, I know that my source is from somewhere else, not God. So if God be my source, then if I'm helping you, I should be able to let you know that see, it is God. So mm-hmm. the more you call on God, the more he blesses. Yeah. The more you reach out to God, the more you make him know that, see, I acknowledge that everything I have, I receive from you. Yeah. There's nothing I have that you did not give to me. He will bless you more. The Bible says it's the goodness of God that leads men to repentance. Nothing else. It's the goodness of God. The more you, the more you thank God, the more you worship God, the more he releases through that source, so when through you, that channel. Yes, mm. through that channel. And sometimes God might just use some people to take it to a level and see what your response will be. Mm. So if you see that your response is full of gratitude to him and not to the person he used, whilst you also need to respect and honor the person that God used. Very important. But do not worship them. Yeah, Do very, not very worship important. them. Respect, honor them, keep honesty, keep loyalty, but do not worship them. Because once you start doing that, you are also limiting your blessings. God needs to start trusting us in this season. And, you know, I mean, that's it. Man, very well said. Guys, you need to go check out that video. Chine Cherim. Yes, it's just how it sounds. That's how it's spelled. Check it out. Check out the video. Um, <laughs> it's on our website. And check out um, the song available across digital stores. His name is Neon Adejo. Um, available, of, of course, across social media as well all neon adejo yeah. all social media platforms <laughs> it's been so good chatting with you it's your first time on praise world radio and that is so so cool yeah. <laughs> to have you with us god bless you so much and we'll catch up with you some something? other time please go ahead can I, yeah can i say something um, um i want to really say a big thank you to praise world radio i mean praise world radio has been supporting my ministry for a long time I don't know. I don't know why people just love me. But I'm so grateful. Sometimes I search for my song on Google, and the first place I find it is Praise World Radio. It was shocking that I clicked on your page and I saw that my video was already available headline. Praise World Radio has been consistent, and I'm so grateful for you too because you've made Praise World Radio very, you know, a very entertaining, entertaining of for a lot of gospel artists because when you go live and we listen to you and then you know how you do what you do man i, I don't know i don't know i'm just i'm just super grateful for your team for praise world radio for you too i'm super grateful for everybody in praise world radio supporting gospel music and also supporting my brand thank you so much thank you so much i've been looking for this opportunity to say thank you to you Oh. And, I, and I'm glad I have you right now. Thank you oh. so much. I'm, I'm super grateful. We're humbled and we're grateful for the for the for the privilege. Thank you again and Thank keep you. doing what you do. God bless you and God bless your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> to the music now. This Thank is the you. song that we have been talking about is Chini Chirin by Neon Adejo. Keep locked right yeah. here on Praise World Radio. <laughs> Bye-bye now. So easy to listen to Praise World Radio. Africa's number one online gospel radio station on the go. Simply whip out your phone, 
go to your app store, search for Praise World Radio, download the app, now install, that's it. Launch the app to tune in anytime by tapping the icon. Guess what? It doesn't even burn your data. With less than 15 MB, you can stay tuned for one hour. Isn't that cool? You can also enjoy lots of interesting features by navigating the app. So, what are you waiting for? Download the Praiseful Radio app today.